Is my camera? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do my nails today and I'm gonna teach you guys how I do my own nails. I always get asked like, how do you do your own nails? How long does it take you to do your nails? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna answer that today. So being that I'm still on break, I don't go back to school until like the end of January. So I have some time to have like my acrylics done. For those who don't know, I'm not allowed to have my nails done during school because I have clinicals like in the hospital and stuff. I kind of want to take advantage now of being able to have my nails done. So today I'm going to be doing something a little different than what I normally do. Um, I'm going to be doing almond. I never do almond. And I'm going to do airbrush nails. I've never done airbrush nails ever. I literally just got this in the mail and I'm like, let's try it. Let's practice. I did practice a little bit of it last night. So I kind of know how to use it, but I've never like actually used it on, you know, myself or on an actual nail. So we're going to do that today. So I already took off the gel polish that I had on my nails previously. Um, I also already like pushed back my cuticles and cut them. This is my drill. It's a Kiara Sky drill. You don't need something this expensive. You could just get a cheap one off Amazon. I was using a Melody Susie one. I think it was like $50 or $60. But you could get an even cheaper one for like $20. Um, yeah, Amazon has like everything that you might need to do your own nails. I'm just going to take a sanding band. I'm just going to remove the shine off of my natural nails and then um, glue on some tips. I'm starting my nails right now at 4 o'clock. So let's see how long this takes me. Normally when I do my nails, I'm here for like hours, but I don't want to be here for hours today, even though I probably will be. So literally what I do is I'm like this. We turn it on. I go like this and we file. So here's a little tip when you're doing your other hand, you want to change like the rotation of your drill. So, for example, if you're doing like your left hand, you want it to be forward. But if you're doing your right hand, you want it to be in reverse. So that's just a little tip. Doing my non-dominant hand is not easy. Like, I'd be struggling and I'd be cutting myself, best believe. So I just finished removing the shine from my nails. So my nails now are like, they look all dry and whatever. Um, I'm going to go in with some coffin tips because I'm going to do almonds today. Or actually... I don't know if I want to do almond. It's like I like almond, but on other people. On myself, I don't know yet because I've never really done almond. Okay, I'm gonna do round. While I do this, I'm gonna answer some questions that people ask me on my account. First question is Who's your favorite client? I won't tell anyone. My favorite client is. The next question is, will you be saying bye to nails after college? I get this question like all the time. And honestly, I don't know. I would love to do nails, um, but you know, it's not like ideal for me because I've only been doing nails for like two years, almost three years, and my back and my wrist pain. I don't really know what my plans are after college. Like, I really don't know what I'm going to do with acrylics by a mirror once I graduate. Um, I don't think I'm going to say bye to nails forever, but I definitely want to do something with this. So you guys see how like the tip is like really slim. Um, yeah, I like to get my tips pre-shaped because it just makes my life so much easier, especially when you have like back-to-back -back clients. Um, you don't have to worry about like shaping or anything. The only shape that I actually have to shape is almond or stiletto, but no one ever asked me for stiletto. I only get asked to do almond. Someone else asked me, is it hard juggling nursing school and your nail business? Um, it's hard, but it's also not hard because nursing school is hard, at least for me, and I have to dedicate a lot of time to just like studying and school, so... The good thing about, you know, me doing nails is I can make my own schedule based on, like, my needs. If I feel like I need to study more for school, then all I have to do is 
you know take out slots and not work as much so it's not hard it's just kind of like finding a balance between doing nails and um your schoolwork and that's just like if you have a lot of schoolwork don't work as much um and i have like the ability to make my own schedule and do that myself someone else asked what's your favorite set of nails that you've done this is another question that people always ask me and like i literally could not tell you i feel like i've done so many sets um there is one set that i always look back on it and i'm like oh my god this is so cute and it's a set that i did for halloween um it was a joker set i'll insert like picture here this set took so long to do but i love the way they came out my client loved the way they came out um and honestly that's all that matters it's like it's definitely one of my favorite sets but it's not my favorite set you know so i just finished putting on this hand they're super long i'm definitely not gonna keep them this long but i am gonna cut them right now a little bit so that i can glue on the tips to my other hand because i can't function with these being this long the next question is could you picture yourself majoring in anything else besides nursing i have always wanted to do something within criminal justice i grew up watching the first 48 which is like um documentaries on like homicides i think i've watched every episode of that series and honestly like i've always wanted to be a detective but i could never imagine putting myself through the academy because who was doing that not me but you never know what could happen in the future the next question which is also another question that people always ask me a lot is how did you start doing nails so i started doing nails in 2020 when covid was like a big thing i started like having an interest in around i want to say may um end of may i started like buying supplies and then beginning of june is when like i got everything and i was just like messing around um, and then I started taking it seriously around like September of 2020 um, And yeah, the next question is do you have any advice for someone going or wanting to go to nursing school? Honestly, I feel like I'm not the best person to give advice to because I myself am struggling it's not easy, but It's doable like if you just put your mind to it and you study and you do what you gotta do like it's doable you can do it also don't let like other people's experiences scare you like everyone has a different experience with school just because someone else is struggling with like med surge doesn't mean you're going to struggle with med surge everyone has like a different experience and don't compare yourself to everyone else's to be honest with you when it comes to nursing school i just go week by week right now i'm just cutting my nails and matching them to each other so that they're all the same length okay so this is kind of what i have right now for the length i'm going to cut it like the almond to see how it looks if i want it to be shorter then i'll cut them to be a little bit shorter these are the 100 180 nail files i normally use 100 100 but i, I accidentally ordered these okay so i just finished cutting and shaping my nails this is how it looks right now so right now all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna file the tips so that they're blended in with my natural nail my camera's about to die so i'm gonna let it charge while i do that so i just finished i look it took a little bit of time because i was trying to figure out what i want to do but i think this is what i'm gonna do a little airbrush moment so i'm gonna go ahead and fill these in with black acrylic i'm gonna use 03 black by not polish so i'm gonna dehydrate the nail with young nails and then you just wipe all the nails off and then for primer i use the young nails protein bond primer I just finished putting on the acrylic they just look like this so I'm just gonna file with this and then I'm gonna clean it up with my drill it's been low-key a little bit of time um I ate and I was just chilling for a little bit I was getting a little bored and distracted so I had to like step away from doing nails this is how they look right now I'm not sure how I feel about the almond I feel like my nails are just too skinny 
for almond that they end up looking kind of stiletto. Now that like my hands are all washed and like I finished filing them, and we're gonna get to my design, which is gonna be kind of like an airbrush desi design. I'm stuck between this one or this one. I'm gonna go ahead with <clears throat> Young Nail Swipe, and I'm gonna clean off my nails. I always do this before I do any like top coat or um, nail designs. What I'm going to do is I don't have the exact blue in the picture, but I kind of want that shade of blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix some colors until I get that color. And the only thing is I feel like when I mix gel sometimes I can get some air bubbles. Um, so I'm just going to try to not get air bubbles today. So I'm just taking this royal blue color. This is DC... D, D Pittsburgh blue and I'm just gonna put some in this little tray I'm gonna add some white to lighten it up dang I put so much I put so much white so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna mix it okay so I got the color actually pretty close I feel like it's close enough so the reason why I just did this so that when I'm airbrushing, I'm going to be airbrushing like this. Um, I won't get it like all over my hand. Just to test it out, I'm going to take like a little tissue paper. Turn it on. I would say the color is pretty spot on. So this is the first layer. I'm going to go ahead and clean off. I only got a little bit right here. This is the first layer, and I'm going to go ahead and cure that. I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. Okay, I'm going to do one more coat. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and top coat my nails and this coat won't really matter because I'm going to buff it off in order to do my chrome. This is how they look so far. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did on this hand on this hand and I will be right back. I just finished doing the airbrush. I put top coat. I will be honest, doing this hand was so much harder than doing this hand because I didn't have like as much control with the airbrush than I did with this hand. So I do think like this hand came out better than this hand. Like, you see how the auras on this hand is like bigger than this hand, but it's okay. It's still cute. Right now, I'm kind of just debating on whether or not. I want to add chrome. I feel like it's, you know, missing something and you could have like a little more. I think I am going to add the chrome. It's this chrome right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buff up off the top coat. Alright, so now this is cured. I'm going to take my blue chrome. And I'm just going to rub it on the parts where I did the gel polish. I added the chrome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a top coat and finish it off and see how it looks. To be honest, you can't even really tell. See what I mean? Like, you can't really tell. So I just did it with silver on my thumb to see how it would look. And I like the way the silver looks a lot better than the blue. So I'm going to finish the silver on this hand and then remove the blue on this hand and do it with silver so i will see you guys when i do that because that is going to take me some time <laughs> So it's the next morning. I just finished editing the video and I realized that I never filmed an outro or showed how my nails came out. I'm going to show you guys how they came out. They look like this. I took some better pictures of them last night. So I'm going to insert those pictures right here. I 
let me know if you guys want like an in-depth version on how to do your nails this was just kind of like a mini q a and like you know just watch me do my nails anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my nails i love the way they came out personally i don't think i'll be doing the almond again i think my hands are just too skinny for almond don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye